Good morning from the Philippines, everybody. It has been like two and a half months since I filmed the video, so apologies for the rustiness. Uh, but I'm here in the Philippines, guys. Ever since I first started solo traveling back in 2019, I've wanted to visit the Philippines so damn badly. I swear I say that about like every single country. So I'm just checking. I've got to grab on the way. We're heading to a food street. You know, you can't, Luke can't come to a new country and not instantly go for a food hunt for breakfast. But uh, I, ever since I started solo traveling, I wanted to come to the Philippines so badly. There are so many amazing beaches, so many amazing islands. I think they're like still discovering islands to this day uh, that are in like Filipino territory. So I'm damn excited. The people here are amazing. The food looks damn good. And most importantly, I'm excited to try Jolly Bees. So in the next couple of videos, you might be seeing that one because I've heard a lot about Jolly Bees. I've seen it in Dubai and I've seen a couple uh, as I'm walking around the streets here. But uh, I'm stoked guys, another series and uh, it's actually the first country, the first new country that I'm visiting uh, this year. So uh, I've revisited a lot of countries this year. I don't really like care about the tally of countries, but it's always nice, you know, to say, oh, I visited a new country every once in a while. But this is what the Philippines looking like, everybody. Absolute craziness. I see all these tricycles and stuff going around. I should have booked one of them, but I got like a grab that's coming uh, to me from, uh, from somewhere downtown. But there's all these like tricycles and whatnot, so it's really cool. People on bicycles, the Dodong JV. Hello. <laughs> He's not too hallowing back to me. But what is this guy doing? Is he moving or what? Anyways, we're gonna catch this car, and uh, we'll take you guys to the food street, and we'll begin the Philippines series exactly where it needs to be: eating delicious food on the street and interacting with the locals. that noise um, I had the word for up yamu and like yellow tarana tarana let's do it all right guys my grab driver canceled on me so uh, we're gonna have to get the uh, the local transport so all these little like tricycle things they're so cool some of them are motor powered some of them are uh, powered by your big strong legs you know this guy's got a motored one motored one oh brother oh he's already got a passenger. See, look, how can you not enjoy these? These are like the coolest things ever. Hello, brother. I need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I come with you. All right. Yeah, yeah. I want the motor power ones. I know you have big, strong legs, but I need the motorbike. <laughs> Is he stopping or what? Brother, brother. I need to go to uh, Divisoria. Divisoria? Yeah, Divisoria. You, you know? It's uh, 7 minutes. 1.4 kilometers. Divisoria... Look there? Like food, food. Eating, eating. Ah. Yeah, how much? Peso? That's what you use here, right? Filipino peso? Peso? Yeah, how much? 150. Huh? 150. 150. Oh, that's very expensive. Grab is cheaper. We do 100, yeah? 100, okay. All right, I'm hopping in the side here. How do you get into these things? All right. Ta-da-na, ta -da -na. Guys, this is all we got. Oh my God. Ta-da-na, ta-da-na, ta -da -na. Oh my God. We're going all around the joint. This is the loudest thing. That I've ever gotten into, it's just literally tin. And the brakes, oh my god, I'm going, I'm about to go deaf. All right guys, so. <laughs> that's our ride, so. These things, let's actually figure out the name of these. Huh? What is? I don't understand. Maybe we're going into some dodgy areas and he's telling me to be careful. Um, uh, just on the side here. Wow. It's so noisy. Oh my God. I feel like I'm in a spaceship going through the atmosphere, breaking the sound barrier and we're about to orbit around the moon or about to orbit around Uranus. Um, <laughs> Alright, I had it up before as to what these were. 
So these are no nice. I think these are called Jeep these. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah, Disoria. Huh? Address. Ah, address. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Just the uh address, address, address. Tondo Manila Metro. Address? Yeah, yeah, there, there, there. Tondo. Tondo. Manila Metro. Tondo. Tondo. The Bisoria side? Yeah, yeah, Dif Difsoria. Like, sh I want to go eat. Huh? Eating, eating. Like, uh, food, food. Here, I direct Boss, you. <laughs> Hello, brother. Oh, what game are you playing? You playing Clash of Clans? Clash of Clans? Hey! <laughs> What's your name, boss? Your name? Your name? Yeah, yeah, Disoria Mall. I have the word for what is your name. Ah, uh, where is it? I also have the word for how are you? Kamustaka! Kamustaka! Alright, we gotta learn guys. The best way, you know, I was trying to learn a little bit of uh, the Filipino language before I left. Uh, but it's just so difficult. I really love like just getting out into the world, into the streets, and then practicing there. I don't even know if you can hear me. I feel like I'm in a tin box right now, and I guess I am in a tin box right now. But this is the streets of uh, Manila, everybody. We're gonna make our way. Get some delicious street food, get some delicious drinks, and uh, get a real first impressions here in the Philippines, guys. Ah, it's good to be back, guys. It is good to be back vlogging. Tarana. Oh my, I think we arrived. It smells like. Yeah, this is it? Yeah. Oh no, not the mall. The, uh. Not the mall. Near here. Tutaban shopping mall. Mm -hmm. yeah, Tutaban. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, shopping mall. No, 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 this one. Not the, this one. Yeah? Yeah, we need to go here. So this is where I, we thought we were going. It's all the same name, which makes sense as to why I'm so confused. But it smells like piss right here. It actually smells like urination. <laughs> um, who knows why? Alright. Uh, yeah, that one. This one, this one? Yes, yes, yes. BRGY 253. 253? Yeah, 253. So I noticed the manila is like kind of split up into um, these things called BRGYs. I don't know what they stand for, but. Even when I was doing like immigration stuff, it was like, what behind you, why are you staying at? I was like, I have no idea what that means. Um, but just, I'm gonna say a random number and I put like 659 or something like that. Um, <laughs> anyway, where's my driver going? Where's he going? He's gone ski. He's done a runner. Huh? No more, no more. No more? No more. No more. No more. No, but I want food, food, food. What? <laughs> Alright. Number one thing you don't do in any foreign country is just let random people run off with your phone. At least you got my camera though. I don't really care about the phone, but the camera? Hey, let's just get out here, I reckon. This is fine. Oh. It doesn't smell as much like piss anymore. Here's okay, I walk. It's fine. Huh? Malayo. Malayo. Mm. Here, yeah, this is okay. I'll, uh, I'll walk around, I eat food. Oh, there's street food over there. Oh, I'm a happy man over there. We're good, good. Okay. Here, yeah, this is for you. Thank you. All right, guys. So, here we are at where I thought was uh, Diveria. Or whatever the name was. But we got tons of like street food and whatnot. We got cool little things. They got big bananas over there. 
and whatnot. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna walk around, see what we come across. I saw a guy selling. Oh, you see, there's all Hi, these. Daddy. Hello. She called me daddy. Weird. <laughs> um, but there's all these little street stalls and whatnot. Oh, there's like shops and what. All right. I'm glad we found this area. I'm glad we found here. It's nice. All right. Let's do it. Look at all these like cool. Oh, they have Harden and Lakers jerseys and whatnot. Definitely, we got to pick up a a basketball jersey and fit in with the locals. They love basketball here in the Philippines. So, oh, this this is my place, guys. This is the place to be. All kinds of stuff going on. So much energy. So much action. Do you know Do you know where I can find like a basketball T-shirt, like Bulls or here? Oh, right there. You're working. This is your shop. Oh, you have burgers. Yeah, burgers. Is it your your shop? No. Oh. My shop. Oh, that's your shop there. Yeah. Oh. Which one's the best one? Loaded. Loaded. What's in the loaded one? It's a. Uh, Ham, burger. Ham, egg, and Ham, egg. fatty fish. Oh. And then I'll also add lots of cheese. All right. Yes. Do I order from her? Yes, Or I order order from you. <laughs> Could I have a loaded one with lots of cheese, please? You want to buy? Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Definitely not what you expect a restaurant to be with lots of fabric. Let's see what else they have. So of course, we're going to have to get lots of cheese on there. But this is like the first meal I'm having in around like 24 hours. So I'm pretty damn hungry. And that's why I was like, oh, there's Chicago Bulls. Um, jersey over there, but that can wait because I need to get some food into me and increase the uh, energy levels. So let's see what's going on here. I've got to be careful here because if I put my camera too uh, close, I'll get my fingers chopped off. But here we go. Got cheese. We got hamburgers. Eggs. How many years have you been here for? How are you? Three years. Three years. Yeah. Very good. And this is your wife. No. Your daughter? No. Your friend? Yeah. Very good. It's interesting, you have fabric, you have clothes shop and uh, cooking shop. Tell you what guys, it is super sweaty here in the Philippines. I need to get uh, used to it's humidity again. Ooh. But I think it's just the area, you know, being sort of inland, if we go by the ocean, we'll have the ocean breeze and whatnot. I want to quickly show you guys these. Take a break, a break from the burger place. Look at all these cool little cane uh, bags. Wow. We'd have to buy one of them, but um, I'm going to put my channel name in. Here, here. Get there. There, that is me. Yes. Travel with Luke to Man. You. Thank you so much. You. I appreciate it. Do you watch YouTube? You like yes, YouTube? Yes, I like YouTube. Who's your favorite YouTuber? More. More vlogger. More vlogger. How much does a um, like Bulls jersey cost normally? Like, what is the price? Uh, six fifty. Six fifty. Yes. So like no. two hundred is good price. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try and get it down, you know. All right. A lot of a lot has happened since we uh, since we went on that hunt, showing all the cane things, but. Oh, yeah. Eggs going on. Ooh. We got the, the ham, the square bacon, we got the buns going on, and the patty there. Very good. You know, I understand why this fans here now. In the camera, it looks like it's going really slow because of the frame rate, but it is absolutely going at a blitzering speed in real life, and I wish it was facing my way. Oh, there's actually one on the inside as well, facing this way. Um, oh, yeah. Now, a lot of people ask me when I'm eating like street food and street drinks, Luke, how do you not get sick? And honestly, I have no idea. Um, but there have been two occasions where I've been severely ill, both of those uh, in India. When I got super sick, I was drinking like this ice drink and you never want to drink ice in any country, specifically in India. Like you can see the, um, the ice cubes that have just been like smashed uh, on the side of the street. Just stick away from ice, especially uh, in India. But I hadn't been sick in so many years and I got cocky 
And I even said when I was drinking the ice drink, I was like, oh, if I don't get sick from here, I'm immune. 12 hours later, little did I know, your man's coming out both ends um, for 48 hours straight. So, I haven't been sick too many times in life. Well, at least uh, food, food poisoning specifically. I've eaten a lot of things that would make a lot of other people sick. Um, but I think my body is just an iron body, an iron stomach. Anything in there, unless it's ice from India, um, it can it can survive. So yeah, I mean, I think you just get used to it. I used to actually be like a really really fussy eater when I was a kid. Um, used to like eat basically the same things every single day. Um, but then traveling actually opened me up to, to more unique foods. It forced me to eat different foods because you know you can't just have cheese sandwiches at home, or you can't have cheese sandwiches. You can have cheese sandwiches at home, but you can't have them uh, when you're traveling because they're pretty hard to find. You actually just gotta. Um, go and eat the local food and force yourself. You literally have no other option or alternative. It's gonna be you either eat their food or you starve sort of thing. So, so traveling really got me into a much better um, space of trying foods and whatnot. But let's get back onto the main topic here. He added some sauce here. What is this? This is mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Uh-huh. This is our banana. <laughs> Cucumber. Cucumber. <laughs> Cucumber. It's a green banana. So <laughs> um, we can see ham starting to crisp up. We got the patty. It is smelling pretty damn good. Oh, sprouts. Very nice. Kind of reminds me of the the burger that we had in Lahore, in Pakistan. The um, the chicken charme. It was like 50, 50 cents or so. So the uh, the loaded one, forty seven plus cheese comes to around 52 um, Filipino pesos which is uh, basically one US dollar so you can see the cheese coming in I love cheese cheese is good have you heard of cheese paratha cheese paratha is number one food maybe this could be the new number one food though who knows but I want lots and lots of cheese there we go it's starting to come together guys Oh. I think that's done. Get some ketchup on there. Oh, lots of ketchup. No, oh, no, 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 thank you. I didn't know Filipinos liked uh, hot stuff. I guess it's uh, your choice, really. Here we go. I will. Uh, I'll eat here if that's okay. Hello. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Oh, pag, yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, that is boiling hot. All right, we're gonna eat here. Well, it was definitely not the uh, the first Filipino meal that I thought I was gonna have here. I was expecting something, uh, you know, something traditional. But we got a burger. I saw the opportunity. And uh, I grabbed it while I had that opportunity. It is so hot. Oh my god. Alright. Let's just bite into this, guys. We got the ham, we got the egg, we got the patty on top, and of course, we got the cheese in the middle. Mayonnaise, ketchup, some vegetables, some green stuff, some cucumber, some sprouts. Here we go. It's fallen, it's fallen to pieces. Mmm. Wow. That. Well, I like to say, pretty damn good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We just hit the patty. We just hit the egg. We got a bit of the ham in there as well. But the sauce, super, super nice. Oh man. Yeah, for a dollar. I think this beats um, Macca's, McD McDonald's. But we'll have to put it up to the test eventually when we uh, try Jollibee's. I've heard so many good things about Jollibee's. Speaking of, oh no, I thought that lady was wearing a Jollibee uh, shirt. Very good. I will have a water, please. You're a great salesman. Upsell. Another water. 
done. Thank you. Let's um finish this off, guys. We'll pay, and then uh, we'll continue on with the rest of the journey. We need to get that basketball shirt. Let's do that. What is the price? How much? Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. All right. There we go. There's a hundred. You can keep that. No change needed. Thank you. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you for the recommendation. I'm going to go get a Chicago Bulls uh, jersey. Yes. So six fifty, you say? All right. What's your name? Nino. Nino. Nice to meet you. I'm Luke. Thank you. People are kind out here, guys. Um, hey, brother, how are you? I'm um, fine. You good? You good? Hello. I'm looking for Chicago Bulls. <laughs> that's what I want. Five hundred. That's one. Five hundred. Five hundred. I can try on. Is it okay? Uh, no. Not allowed. No, but like, can I try on? Like, I can put on. Wow. Hold on. All right. So, what do we have? We have the Bulls. We got the white Bulls. The black Bulls. Five. 500, okay, noted, noted. Or Lakers, you know, who, who doesn't love Lakers, Bulls? I think these ones are small. Um, all right, let's try something on, guys. Yeah, yeah, I make video. Wow. Wow. What is it? beautiful. Yeah, you're, you're very beautiful. You're very good. All right, let's try on this uh, Chicago Bulls. We got the Jordan 23. Absolute goated legend right there. Huh? Oh, five. Huh? Oh, this one. Oh, very it's good. A beautiful. I look very good. I'm looking beautiful. Oh, I know. Do you like? It was beautiful. Do you like it? Beautiful. <laughs> this lady's a character. Oh, this one's small. <laughs> hey, maybe. Uh, no. No, oh. 300. 500. No, 300. Wow. You're no, bargaining against no. yourself. This one, 500. Alright, let's try, let's try the black one on. I think I'm leaning towards the black. The it black. feels a lot better. The black, uh, the black, uh, the black. 500 minimum. Minimum. Minimum, 500. Oh my god, guys. You're stuck. Uh. I'm stuck. Uh. Okay. Uh, beautiful. Uh. Uh, give me 500. Yeah, I need to. I need to try on first. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Again, again, ah. Uh. Again. Uh, again. Uh, 500. Black. Yeah, I think. I think black is better. Oh wow, Jordan and the thing. Jordan and the thing. This lady is. This lady is hilarious. Wow, oh, beautiful. That is what a way better oh, fit, oh, guys. Oh. That is so much better. Oh. Feels a lot more uh, comfortable. This one, you know, made in China, you know. No, it wasn't a beautiful, large. It's very good. Which one do you prefer, this one or this one? I think this one is good. I'll put my hat on. Well, we have a crowd. Hello, everybody. It's more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> um, so uh, you can do, you can do two hundred. <laughs> How much? 500, 1,000 dalawa. Oh no, I just need one, just one. No. Just one. Okay, hang your na. Yeah, so how much for, for one? San libo, two pieces. One piece. Walla. No. I'm, I'm not allowed, huh? Galit ang may ari, basta 1,000. How much for uh, one? One, one piece. One piece. 500. And two pieces? Two pieces, one thousand. We do two pieces for five hundred. <laughs> I think that, uh, that was something. Um, two piece, eight hundred. Hello. Hello. How are you? You want a jersey? Here, I give you uh, 1,000 for two. 1,000. Balot na ng plastic. Wow. The very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the but, uh, very good. Oh, peng in plastic. No, no, it's okay. I give this away. Oh, Who wants oh, it? Yeah, it's okay. Very good, huh? Donation. For you. Yes, yes, yes. Give me. Hey. All right, fight over it. <laughs> oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> we started. We started a, a fight. The UFC has now made its way to the Philippines. <laughs> what's, what's your name, brother? 
your name? Dong. Dong. All right, nice to meet you, Dong. All right. Uh, give, give me a money. I already give you 1,000. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Why did I grab the coat hanger? I don't know. I'll leave that there. Thank you so much. All right, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> All right. Enjoy your shirt. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's all it's you know, it always takes a little bit to warm up to new countries, especially when you're here for the very first time. Um but I know I'm gonna have a damn good time here guys. Hey sir. Hey brother, how are you? What's your name? Yeah. Yeah, very good. Your name? Luke. Oh you're watching the NBA? Yeah. Very cool. Oh 225,000 people watching. It's almost as many as my videos get. Thank you. Excuse me. Hey, brother, how are you? You going good? <laughs> All right. I need to do something with this shirt. I actually like this shirt a lot. So, do want to hold on to it. Um, but, pretty successful so far walking around here. I can imagine I'll be, I'll be back here later on. Got a nice little shirt. This actually is super comfortable. Michael Jordan, Bulls. 23 the goat um, and had a had a burger hey bro hey brother you good hello 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 wow people are so friendly people are so friendly hello hello how are you you good <laughs> man people are so friendly here this is so good everyone's so uh so happy hey brother need to learn more of the local language so i can communicate a little bit better but that just comes as you travel more here, you spend more time, you learn you know, a few words a day, and then by the end of the week, you have 20 or so words in your vocabulary. But I'm thinking, we'll, we'll skirt through here, and uh, we'll make our way just up here. Oh, I do need a new pair of shoes. Oh, do I buy some shoes? Hey brother, how are you? We got Nikes, so I lost my Iraqi Baghdad shoes that I've had for so long and had to buy $3 shoes in Australia. Hello. Do you have like just a uh, black Nike? Black Nike. Black Nike. Yeah, like that. Black Nike. Yeah. You have big, big size? Yes, size eight. Four. Size, what size? size. Uh, like 44? 44. 44. 44. 44. Buy it. You have? Size nine. No, have. You have anything 44? Oh, yeah, 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 you have 44. What size is this? It has no size. Ah, 44. We'll try it on. In the middle of the street. How much are they? How much still was I know? $3.50. $7. Oh, there's still there's another one in the back. You gotta get your fingers up there. There we go. It's all clear. Oh you know. If they had a little bit bigger ones, you have big, big? Like 40, 40 45. These would be perfect, you know? Like 350 pesos, seven US dollars. These would be perfect, but you can see my, my toes a little bit clamped and I'm kind of rolling out of them a bit. But hopefully. Ah, 45. Thank you. Okay, let's try them on. <coughs> this is uh, 350 too. Well, that's much better. Yeah, you know, I think anything at the moment will beat my $3 Kmart shoes. If anybody's living in Australia, you'd know what Kmart is. Every time I go back to Sydney, I always buy a pair of these $3 Kmart shoes. Um, so, these are actually alright. They're not as good as the Iraqi shoes, but I think they'll do the job. Do you have the right right side? These are actually decent. These are half decent. I write I write them. And they're kind of the color that I was going for, black. So let's try on the last one. Yeah, feeling good. I can I can run really fast now. Where are you from, sir? Where are you from? Australia. 
people are like so friendly. They're just willing to have a chat and whatnot. Let's see, uh, go on the other side and see what they have. Oh, you have vans. I like vans. What size vans are these? Do you reckon they'll fit? Oh, I was wondering like how this hook was in there. And then I realized I can feel a hook in the back of my foot. <laughs> She's laughing at this. I was like, what is this? What is this? All right, let's put that back there. What is your name? Angel. Sorry? Angel. Angel. Wow. Very beautiful name. Is that because you look like an angel or uh, you, you fell from you fell from heaven? All right guys, enough of the, uh, the hitting on a beautiful lady. Let's try these. That's actually a pretty good name, Angel. All right guys, I think this is it. This is us done. Let's, uh, very good. I approve. I approve of them. Now it is time to bargain, but they're already actually like a really good price. It is ne negotiable. I can get cheaper price or... Uh, how much? What is the price that we can do? How much did you say? 350. We can do like 50. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. 300's okay? No, that's okay. <laughs> we'll give them the 350. I think that's a reasonable price. Seven US dollars for these. I think it's fair. Who do I pay? You? Oh, no, thank you. I do not need. Oh, London, very beautiful. Here, I put uh, this one in there. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Angel. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I'm from Australia. All right, let's put our federal reserves away. We made it to the end. Look at these like cool little limo things. We got a tuk-tuk as well. Hey, brother. But um, we'll go up here and see what else we can find. All right, got my bag, got my shoes and my shirt in there. I'm actually really rating the Chicago Bulls uh, jersey, the singlet. So super stoked about that. Uh, but I was looking at like my hotel and I was trying to figure out how to get there. And I didn't realize it was so close. It's like a 500 meter walk from where I am. So uh, we're just gonna walk there. We'll be able to go through all the streets, get some new glasses if, if needed, uh, and just, you know, try all the random things that we've come across of. You know, just like how exciting are all these things? You have shops, you got motor covers, you got people selling bags for 100 pesos. That's a good deal. These bags, you got all kinds of things. So, hello. Hello. We are uh, gonna walk through here. Oh, oh donuts. All right, guys. I think it's criminal that I was just walking past those donuts. I can't not. I need. I need a donut. I can't. I can't walk past it. I need myself a donut. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can I please have one of your best donuts? Look at all the ones we have. Soko butternut, crema bites. Um, they're only twenty pesos. That's so like thirty cents each or something. I will have. One strawberry, one ring, rainbow, and also a, and also a, a sans reval. Thank you so much. All right, let's put these down here real quick. Hopefully we don't leave them. But oh, I should have just gotten a box. Box of six. Oh, it ends up being the same price. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Alright, so I want to try the strawberry one, right? But I bought two more because we're going to give it away to uh, these guys or whoever wants them. So actually, look how cool the money is here. It's actually really like colourful. So 20 pesos, that's around like 30 cents. Got a thousands in there, which is blue. Alright, time for a donut review here in the Philippines. We're starting off with the pink one. The other two, I'm going to give away. Imagine, imagine that was like, uh, like YouTubers did that. Guys, I'm going to give away a donut. Like and share this video and I'll ship it straight to you. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Um, here we go. Super bright pink. Got the, uh, the sprinkles on top. Donut on the round. I don't even know what I'm speaking of right now. Uh, sprinkles on top. Got the donut bit all around. It's a little bit flat. Let's see uh, what it tastes like. Oh my god. You know what? I never used to be a fan of strawberry donuts. But slowly, I've been working my way into them. Oh my god. The icing is just like a whole different flavor. It is incredible. Oh my god, guys. You know? I have two more here. I was gonna give them away. But uh, no, I still gotta give them away. I might have to eat them though. I might have to get some more. That one of the best donuts I've ever had in my life, guys. That is incredible. Wow. Hey, I have some, I have donuts for you. You can have for you, you and your daughter. I do not need them. There you go. Which one do you want? You want that one? You can have this one as well. There you go. Oh, sir, it's okay. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Damn. Strawberry donuts for the win, guys. <laughs> I might have to start promoting strawberry donuts as much as a cheese paratha. They are actually goddamn delicious, but we got McD's here, Macca's, McDonald's. Again, all these like limo things. I don't know what they're called. Let me know in the comments below, guys. They're everywhere. How cool would it be like going around like Sydney City in one of these things? You'd be top of the town. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> they're so cool. Anyways, we are going to uh, walk back to my hotel, everybody, and we're going to finish up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, chase your dreams. Um, but quickly, before I say that, I'm damn excited to be in the Philippines, guys. I am, uh, after this first video here, hello, after this first video, I am goddamn excited to uh, be exploring this amazing country. And yeah, Woo. I'm stoked, big stoked to be back on the road, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, chase your dreams. And we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.